My name is June Bonshoya. I wrote this journal. I'm a programmer, an AI psychologist, and an employee at CC Corporation. This journal will serve as a collection of my experiences as the lead developer on something called Project GU, and my personal impressions and analysis of a game known as The World. Struck as I was by a bout of guilt, I feel this is the only possible remedy for my conscience. Although I wouldn't swear that everything in this journal is 100% accurate, to me it's the absolute truth. The world is an online game. Players assume the role of a character and enjoy various adventures while chatting with friends. Also, by email or through forums, they exchange game information and engage in social interactions that they might not normally experience. It can truly be called a game of communication. As I write this journal, I know there is one event I can't avoid discussing. It's the first thing I want to talk about. The Second Network Crisis. The event is often referred to by its nickname, the Morgana Incident. The information that will follow is based on what I learned while working on GU for the CC Corporation. It's a reconstruction of what happened, from my personal point of view, supplemented with logs. Logs I stole off the network. I'm going back now to the year 2010. I'll begin this journal with the story of a boy, a young gamer who had just logged onto the world for the first time. His character's name was Kite, and at the time he was only 14 years old. He had been invited to play by his friend whose character's name was Orca. This was his first adventure. While Kite and Orca were journeying through the dungeon, they met a mysterious girl named Aura. Aura was being chased by a rogue monster known as Skaith. Or was the rumor true? Take this. Huh? Please take this. There's no time. Please. What's this? A great force. The power it holds can bring forth either salvation or destruction at the whim of the user. After entrusting them with the Book of Twilight, the mysterious girl disappeared. Soon after, Orca was killed when Skaith attacked him with an unauthorized and illegal power, and the character was lost. As a result, the gamer who was playing as Orca fell into a coma. Run! He'll kill you! There's something wrong. Nothing works. I know it sounds like some cheap sci-fi movie, but the player actually fell into a coma because of this online game. As involved as I was in Project GU, 
I understood how something like this could happen. This incident, a player being left comatose after playing the world, was not made public. I'm just an engineer, so I don't know all the details, but I can guess what happened. The CC Corporation must have used their political influence to kill the story before it was released. Not long after, I found evidence that at least six other gamers had suffered exactly the same fate as that boy. The names of the six were Sora, Alf, Carl, Kazu, Orca, and Sieg. The first of the lost players had already woken up from her coma. The character name was Tsukasa. At another point, much later, Sora and Sieg became intimately involved with Project GU. But for now, let's return to Kite's story. Thanks to the intervention of Helba, Kite was saved from the threat of Scathe. And it was Kite who received the installation book, Book of Twilight, instead of Orca. With it, Kite's skills expanded, becoming able to modify the abilities of his character and gain unauthorized powers. Data drain. Like it or not, it was the same attack Scathe had used to put his friend Orca into a coma. That skill. Now, I understand. You are the same as the virus. To think that I was saved by someone like you. No! That's not... I don't even know what's... Do not lie to me. Recently, many places within the world have been damaged by a virus. Those who willfully spread the virus and destroy this world for their own amusement, they... they shall receive no mercy. No, that's not me, I... Aura had given him the bracelet, and now with his new illegal powers, Kite decided to take action to save his unconscious friend Orca. And alongside Kite, there was always one girl. You didn't even need my help at all, did you? By the way, uh... I guess you can tell that I'm a newbie too. Uh, yeah. It must be pretty obvious by the way I acted back there. That's hardly the way to talk to someone who just saved your life! Who, me? Hmm. I'm not afraid. No way! Well, all right, I am. I'm scared enough for the both of us. My controller is soaked with sweat. So what about you, huh? Her character name was Black Rose. She was the real-life older sister of Kazu, one of the coma victims I mentioned above. She was also a new player. She had just logged on to the world for the first time to try to save her brother. 
The two of them were working together toward a common goal. Kite's war continued, and soon many other players joined him. Mia, the mysterious rogue cat, and Elk, the young man that cared so much for her. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's get ready then. Uh, Mia! Excuse me! You! Yes, you! That's a unique bracelet. Uh, oh. Can I take a uh. look? Can you see it? Yes, of course. Do you mean to say that you can't see this nice bracelet? Even if you can't see it. As long as you know it's there, it's the same thing as seeing it, right? Bracelet? Hey, what are you talking about? I can't see any bracelet, Mia! Well, thanks a lot for letting me look at your bracelet. I have a feeling we're going to meet again. Somehow. Well, see you around. Balmung, who along with his sworn friend Orca, had earned the title Descendant of Fianna, appeared as well. Draw! Draw your sword! Now! I do not speak with hackers. Then I must ask, I have not been able to contact him since that event. What has become of him? I do understand, but you need to face facts. With you two involved, things get worse. That's how I see it. Am I wrong? And Helba, the legendary super hacker. You don't have time to get depressed. Who are you? A friend, or perhaps a foe. <laughs> a meddler with a warning. <laughs> It's not that hard to imagine. Like I said, someone is always watching you. Amidst the increasing turmoil of the world, they each had their own reasons. But together, they set out to deal with the illegal monsters called data bugs. Kite finally managed to reunite with Ara, but immediately after Kite found her, she was deleted by Scathe. Aura's data was chopped into segments and frozen in various locations around the world. There was a battle between the first phase, Scathe, and Kite, the holder of the bracelet. Kite managed to gain a difficult victory, but what he couldn't imagine at the time was it was just the opening battle in a long, long war.
Kite's story shall continue. But first there's the mystery of the brilliant AI programmer and creator of the world, Harold Hewick, and the lost epic poem, Epitaph of Twilight. There's little doubt that the second network crisis of 2010 was a direct result of the world. It was awful. It caused catastrophic damage to travel, communication, and healthcare industries all over the planet. What exactly was it that caused the network crisis? It was the very power that was being researched at Project GU. In other words, the network version of God. My efforts were entirely devoted to technical research and the existence of God in the world. It became a story of human foolishness and a paradise abandoned by God.